Hey hello friends welcome back to my YouTube channel last month i went for packing in uttarakhand a very beautiful place valley of flower and the elevation of valley of flower is about 3500 and at that height there is no internet connection no cellular network and most important there is no electricity so if in case if i want to check my altitude how much height i can track i can't measure it and apart from this what is the time what is the date i am not able to check in my phone because there is no internet no wifi and also no electricity so i thought why not to make a stand alone device which work completely offline in which we can measure the time speed date and most important altitude so in this video i am going to show you how i make this project in which we can monitor time date altitude and our speed and for making of this project we required only two component esp32 and gnss module you can use any gnss module in this video i am going to use rex rys528 gnss module if you want you can use gp02 module as well and to display all this data i am using here 0.96 inch oled display so let me show you cube demo how this device work so this is our genesis based offline altitude meter in which we can monitor date time speed and our current altitude uh, on which height we are currently so right now it is showing 83.3 meter and this is decreasing i don't know why and number of satellite from which this genesis module is currently connected is 29 So this system work completely offline this system is getting all the data from satellite using this GNSS module uh, during the video i will explain code in detail i will let you know the connection i will explain everything in detail so let's make this project from scratch let's get into this video before getting into this video i want to let you know about ultium ultium is a leading provider of innovative pcb design software and tools that are transforming the electronics industry Ultium has some amazing features like advanced interactive routing with auto completion, any angle routing, bus routing, phase and length tuning, follow me routing and lot more, which make it an ideal choice for PCB designing tool by a lot of companies. With the addition of Ultium 365, this leading PCB design software in the world moves into a whole new dimension, creating seamless collaboration across the entire PCB design process. Ultium 365 allow us to share our PCB design online via web, sharing designs to mechanical team for product design, centralized cloud storage and lot more. And if you are a student and want to be job ready in electronics design, try Ultium Student Lab. You will get free access to Ultium Designer and Ultium 365, so you can collaborate with your mates and earn a certificate that recognized by top industries in India. It's a great way to boost your skills and your resume. Just enter your university email to get started for free and learn real skills that lead to real jobs with Ultium Student Lab. And benefits of this Ultium Student Lab is you will get free access to Ultium Designer student license and PCB design courses, university level curriculum and course certified from Ultium Education, free access to power analyzer by Keysight. This is an amazing opportunity to gain industry recognized skills. Uh, thanks to Ultium for sponsoring this video. For more details, check out the link in the description. So this is code for our today's project, and this code is very easy. I already explained this code in many of videos, like in my GPS based speedometer and digital clock video. The code is almost same. The only difference is uh, the altitude part. In this project, I am using the altitude part. So I am going to explain only that part. If you want to detail explanation, you will watch that video. In that video, I explain everything in detail. I will uh, put the link in the description. You can watch that video. And apart from this, one more thing. Here you need to uh, set the baud rate. If you are using RYS 352 GNSS module, you will put 11500 baud rate. And if you are using GP02 module, then you need to uh, add 9600 baud rate. Uh, even I have put this thing in comment by commenting this. If you are using RYS 352A, then baud rate will be 11500, and for GP02 module, it is 9600. And the button pin is connected at the GPIO 32. And the rest of the code I have already explained in my GPS base speedometer digital clock video so you can watch that video here is the altitude part uh, first here we are checking if altitude data is receiving or not uh, that means if we are getting the altitude data from GPS module then in that case we are storing the altitude value in this variable which is alt uh, by uh, using this function which is giving us altitude value in meters So after storing this value in alt that is uh, a altitude uh, this is a variable float type variable Uh, then we are here printing on the OLED display that is altitude, then the value of altitude, and the unit of the altitude that is meter. And along with this, we are here we are also printing on the OLED display uh, that is uh, uh, time, and the the value of time is in IST, and and the text size is two. 
we are printing uh, time value in bold character after that here we are printing date which is in the format of date month year and after that in the third line we are printing the speed speed of our current vehicle or anything where we are using this project and after that here we are printing altitude and satellite so here we are printing the uh, altitude value of altitude on how much height we have and after that number of satellite from which our gnss module is currently connected so that's all the explanation of this code if you want detailed explanation of this code you can refer that video will get link in the description uh, now uh, go to tools and select the right board that is esp32 dev module and write communication port and hit upload button to upload the code now make the connection as per this connection diagram. Connect the RYS352 Genesis module to the ESP32 OLED display to the ESP32 as per this connection diagram. So this is our Genesis based offline altitude meter in which we can monitor date, time, speed and our current altitude uh, on which height we are currently. So right now it is showing 83.3 meter and this is decreasing. I don't know why and number of satellite from which this genesis module is currently connected is 29 so this system work completely offline this system is getting all the data from satellite using this genesis module so no need of any rtc module or anything so this module is working super fine and works completely offline uh, let's compare this with my uh, apple watch how this accurate is uh, right now this is showing 89 meters and in this device it is showing 81.6 meter so uh, this is not uh, exactly accurate uh, there is a difference of about uh, uh, 6 to 7 meters but uh, it is pretty okay so this work completely offline and this project is very useful in the hiking uh, if you go on mountain then this project is very useful for you and also if you are going somewhere where no internet connection no cellular network are available then in that remote area this uh, system is also very useful uh, you can connect a battery and you can use uh, without any relying on the internet connection or cellular network this system is purely taking all the data from satellite so this is very small but very useful device genesis based altitude meter uh, using genesis module as you can see date is 16 10 2025 uh, the date we are currently shooting this video so yeah that's all in this video and apart from all this we can also change the unit of the speed right now it is in the kilometer per hour by pressing this button we can change the unit in mile per hour so you can toggle between the kilometer per hour and mile per hour just by pressing this button so that's all in this video i hope you like this video and you learn something new if you have any question or queries regarding this video or any other video uh, you can contact me via my whatsapp number you will get my whatsapp number in your screen and also my email id and apart from this channel you can also comment in the comment section below so that's all in this video we will meet in the next one till then bye bye have a nice day